Hi friends, my name is Tina Zink and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. And in today's video, I am going to share a really easy uh, card layout. It is a, a standard card layout. A lot of people use this layout and it's one of my go-tos that I can use with designer series paper. I can use the stamped cardstock and it's just such an easy, fast layout. So right now Stampin' Up! has a fabulous PDF download that anybody can purchase. It's $12 US and it's called the COVID-19 Give Back. 100% of the sales are being donated by Stampin' Up! to frontline workers. So this is a really, really great uh, way to give back. All the information is posted on my blog and I will leave the link down below in this video description for you. And this PDF has really fun sentiments that we can print off. There's 15 pages of printables that you can use to cut out for your scrapbooks, for projects, and for cards. I've been sending these cards to customers, to friends, to family, and they're just so fun. So I'm going to show you just a few of the cards I've been making because I've really been making a lot. So look at, look at all these cards. And I'm just using all different colors of card stocks, some of these are upside down, <laughs> but it's a great layout and I'm really having a lot of fun making them. So let's get stamping. Okay, so I'm going to start right from scratch. I haven't pre-cut anything, normally I do, but uh, for those of you who are new to stamping, maybe you have some concerns, you're not quite sure how to cut your card stock. So this Whisper White layer measures eight and a half by 11. And what I'm gonna do is score it, turn it this way. You can either score it at the four and a quarter mark or the five and a half mark and that will give you two standard size cards. I'm gonna score it at the four and a quarter mark. And that's the light gray blade. This is our trimmer from Stampin' Up! And now I'm turning it around and I'm lining it up at the five and a half mark. And cutting that down. So there are my two cards. I'm gonna do that again, but this time I will score it at five and a half. Whoops, let's get this black one up so we don't accidentally cut it. Score, spin it around, and line it up at the four and a quarter. So this gives me the same size card. It just opens a little bit differently, right? Let me show you the first one. Okay, so you can see they're the same size, it's just landscape and portrait dimensions there. Now here I have some cardstock and I've just got these clipped. These were uh, assorted cardstocks, so I'm going to pull out two of these and get these ones out of the way. You can use any color cardstock, it's going to look fantastic. And let's start with this one. So this is a pretty peacock. Now. What I've been doing is I've been cutting these all to measure five and a quarter by three and three quarters. Then I stamp them all and then I cut them all. So that's why I'm not cutting these all into strips yet. I'm going to just stamp them all in one swoop and that saves me a lot of time. So that measures three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I'm going to do the same thing here piece of Rococo Rose, line it up at the five and a quarter mark. I'm going to save that for another card, we'll just have to trim that down a bit, and then cut it at the three and three quarters, same thing. So I'm going to get quite a few cards out of these pieces. And Seaside Spray, so these colors are from our 2019-2021 in colors. Love them. Now for the next one, I'm going to use some designer series paper just so you can see what this looks like. This is our new uh, designer series paper from the Ornate Garden Suite and it's really, really beautiful. I've been using it a lot. This reminds me of Mary Inglebright. Love Mary Inglebright. Um, but super, super pretty. Great patterns. And the back is specialty so look at it's got the gold 
and you can see all the different patterns you could use your stamp and blends on that or just use it as it is let me see did we miss a pattern oh this is one of my favorites the green with the gold There's another one so pretty i love 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 this designer series paper okay so i'm going to use the same measurements i'm going to cut this down at five and a quarter by three and three quarters I'm just going to cut out one of these because I want to use some different patterns. Okay, there's one. And we'll use this one. Five and a quarter. Spin it around, cut it at three and three quarters. And like I said, normally when I do my videos, I have all my pieces pre-cut to save time. But today I'm not doing that, just so you can kind of see how to cut paper. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh, sometimes it kind of hurts to cut paper when it's so pretty. But it was made to be used, my friends. So cut your paper and use it. So there. Now we have our three patterns and the three specialty. And actually, because I'm not stamping on these pieces, I'm going to go ahead and cut these down. So the measurement to cut these down is one and a quarter. So I'm not sure if this trimmer will cut down three pieces at once, but we're about to find out. Oh yes, beautifully, beautifully. All right, let's do that again. Cut it down at one and a quarter. All right, there's my designer series paper cut. Now I'm going to move my trimmer because we need to stamp the cardstock before we cut it. So I'm going to use one stamp set on one and a different stamp set on the other. And this is one of those videos where I'm, I'm doing it on the fly haven't decided what stamp sets I'm using. I'm just keeping it real. I feel like stamping and feel like sharing it with you. So yeah, not quite sure what stamp set to use. Let me take a look at my stash here. Okay, I figured it was only fitting to use the ornate style stamp set, which is part of that ornate garden uh, suite. I'll show you the other set that goes with it and I've been using it a ton. It's the Ornate Thanks. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so many sentiments in this. Love it. These and the designer series paper and everything else in that suite will be in our new annual catalog that goes live June 3rd, but Stampin' Up! has uh, done an early release so anybody can buy these. So yeah, they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we're gonna use this and Seaside Notions because I love this stamp set. So let me see now. I'm gonna start with my Seaside Notions. And for this card layout, let me get them all squeezed in there so you can see what I'm doing. Mind you, I'm gonna be stamping one at a time. Uh, but it's tone on tone. So I'm using Seaside Spray. Rococo Rose and Pretty Peacock. So nice. And I'm going to use one stamp on one. We're going to use, what are we going to do? We're going to use the seahorse on that one. This is the hardest part is picking out which ones to use. You can use whatever stamps you want. You could use multiple stamps if you want. In fact, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Stick that on there. And I'm going to use the coral as well with that one because why not? And then I'm going to use this one on there. No. Shells with shells. Coral on that one. All right. Let's stamp. Let's stamp. I am in such a silly mood. Uh, I think I've been missing getting together with my friends and family and hanging out during this whole crazy time we're living through 
Uh, plus, I've had no internet for the past week except for on weekends and really, really late at night and really, really early in the morning. So it's been a challenge to do Zoom or, or anything like that. So I think I'm getting a little uh, bonkers, so bear with me. <laughs> so I'm just inking this up and I'm going to stamp it just randomly going in different directions, covering this whole piece. So basically I'm making my own designer series paper. And I will mention, I got myself a new phone last week. So this is my first time filming on this phone. It's a Samsung. I used to have a, a Huawei, if I'm saying that correctly. And uh, if you watch my How I Film My YouTube video, um, I mentioned that with that phone, depending on the lighting, I would get uh, shadow bars and different crazy things happening. I don't see that happening on this phone so i'm very excited about that i think i think this could be a nice clear video all right i need to clean this stamp so i got my stamp and scrub i tend to use this a lot but i also use our um chamois which is missing in action at the moment here it is this little guy here i keep it in a clear case and it's drier than a popcorn fart right now but I would just hold that underneath a uh, tap until it gets nice and wet and then clean my stamp on that but I must say I do tend to gravitate back to my stamp and scrub quite often so there's a little sunshine here so you know that this is the dry side and I've got it covered up but there's like raindrops up in that corner so I know that this is my wet side and this is my dry side so I've just sprayed some of our stamp and mist on here and scrubbed it and dried it and then when these get really inky and not really cleaning your stamps anymore these just pop out and you rinse them underneath the sink and then I set them in a like a dish rack type of thing and let them dry and then I pop them back in all right focus I'm not sure how much of this video I'm gonna be editing out or how much I'm gonna be keeping it real but if I don't do too much in the way of editing, if, if this is just too silly for you, then let me know and I will, I will keep things a little bit more serious next time. Probably not, but there you go. All right, time for the seahorse. And I'm just staggering him in um, different areas here. Don't you just love the seahorse? Done. Set that aside. Get there. I put all three on one block just to save a bit of time because I'm radical like that. And we'll put one right there. And we're going to put the little tip right here to fill in that block. There is my stamping done for those three pieces. I'm going to stamp the next three pieces too, and then we can just assemble them all together, and then I will show you those awesome COVID-19 sentiments from Stampin' Up. Hote. Now, for this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different That's that I've been wanting to do, but I haven't tried it before, but I know it's going to look great. So we're going to do that. I want to heat emboss this image instead of stamping it in the coordinating color because I think that's going to look really pretty. So I'm using our embossing buddy. Now, friends, I don't know why, but our embossing buddy is not being carried over into the new catalog. And it's to me, kind of a crucial tool to have when you're heat embossing because what this does is it prevents um, any embossing powder sticking to the static on the cardstock where you don't want that embossing powder to be. So if you don't already have one of these embossing buddies or this guy, which I use a lot, this is our um, piercing mat. When you're using photopolymer stamps, um, let's see, if you're not sure our photopolymer stamps are our clear see-through stamps and then we have our 
uh, cling rubber stamp, the red rubber. But I find especially when you're using the photopolymer stamps, stamping on this foam pad makes a massive difference. Now I know with our Stamparatus, there's like a little foamy thing that you can use, but ah, oh, I really find this works really, really good. So you may want to get one of these and you will definitely want to get one of these if you don't already have one for heat embossing because it really does make a difference. Now, because I'm going to be stamping off that paper, I'm just putting some scrap paper on there. And I'm taking my first mark. All right, let's start with this one. Now, I'm going to use this stamp on all three pieces. So this is going to make it really, really fast. Let's get that guy on there. Okay. Ink that up. Now I'm going to stamp it there. And turn it around and stamp it there. And then I'm just going to ink this up and just fill in those little gaps. Okay? So there's one. Bring in the next one. I'm going to stamp this one a little bit differently. I'm going to stamp it that way and I'm going to stamp it that way and stamp it like that okay so then I got the flowers going in all different directions and I'm gonna put something in that corner too I tend to do that there last one Uh, I'm going to try it diagonally. And the reason I'm doing this is I just want to add a bit of variety to these cards so that they're not all going in the same direction and just, you know, because it's fun and because there's no rules that say how we have to stamp our stamps. There we go. Oh my gosh. Look at guys. If nothing else. Like that's beautiful. That can just dry and you've got that beautiful watermark that you can use on your cards, tone on tone, love it. So this first mark has stayed wet enough for me to add my embossing powder. Now I can use white, which would look really nice. I was thinking gold, maybe silver, but you know, the white would look nice, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh, decisions. No, I'm gonna stick with the gold. That's what I wanted to do. Going for gold, I could do one of each. I could do gold, copper, silver. That would look pretty. Imagine this with Christmas sets, using it in silvers. You know, you just, the stamping addiction just never ends. Too many ideas. gosh you guys I can tell you right now this gold on this pretty peacock it's gonna make me really happy and I'm gonna do this more and more I do believe with different stamp sets because I can tell you I'm gonna love that combination so much All right time to sap these babies and I'm gonna start by cutting these up now going to do the same thing with these beautiful pieces. So I'm going to start with this one. And you want to leave a little bit of a gap from the edge. And I'm going to put I'm gonna put that one there. And we're gonna put the coral piece right in the center. So 
so I want to put this on in different um, order than what I did here. And I want that one to go that way. Right. there we have three beautiful card layouts beautiful beautiful I love this card layout it's one of my very very favorites so that's how you do it I'm gonna speed up the uh, the next little bit of the video while I put these pieces on their card bases so all my card bases are put together so these are the ones that I showed you so you've seen those ones already with the seaside notions and then we have the beautiful embossed ones and of course it can go that way as well so landscape or portrait works for this card layout isn't that gold just stunning so beautiful okay and then after this we have our designer series paper so that's with all the different flower patterns. And then I use the specialty patterns on this one with all the gold. And then for this one, I did the two specialty on the ends and then the patterned flowers on the center. So such a great variety with the designer series paper and then also with our stamps and all the different ways that we can create backgrounds. So now it's time to add some sentiments. So let me show you those fun COVID-19 sentiments from Stampin' Up. So here are all my cutouts from that one PDF, 15 pages worth. And what I've done is I've separated the colored images and sentiments from the black. And I spent a morning and it took quite a bit of time and I just cut them out using my rectangle stitch dies, my oval dies. Some of them I just cut with the uh, Stampin' Trimmer. Some of them I cut with circles. So I went ahead and cut everything out so I've got them to quickly add to my cards. And the printout that uh, comes with the PDF also includes the list of the colors that are used on here and what dies and punches coordinate uh, with these um, sentiments, but I didn't follow that. I just went ahead and just used whatever dies I had handy, used my little punches, and uh, I just went ahead and cut. So let me show you some of these because there's, I don't know how many are in this set, how many sentiments, but there's so many. So this one, I totally share my toilet paper with you. Thank you for your service. Uh, this one's cute. Have another quarantini with a little martini glass. And for the inside, it's like a normal martini, but you drink it at home alone. Uh, thank you, hero. What you doing? Smile. Uh, though we're not together, we're close at heart. Sending love. And if I could, toilet paper. We are thinking of you, not alone, just apart, sending hugs. I changed out my night pajamas into my day pajamas to send you this card. Wash your hands. I've just been working on my home body. There's so many, so many miles apart, but close at heart. All right, so to keep these simple, for the most part, I'm just using my dimensionals to put them on. Uh, you can, of course, cut more cardstock so that you've got more of a, a layer behind the sentiments. But because I've been making so many of these, I wanted to save a little bit of time. And then all I've been doing is just tucking them right on to my card, just like that. We'll do another one. This is the one with the pretty uh, embossing. And the sentiment reads, I can't wait to hug you when this is all over. So many people need hugs right now, that's for sure. And then I went ahead and used my Butterfly Gala and I stamped some butterflies embossing with gold. Some I just uh, did in brown and colored them. 
so that I have um, embellishments if I wanted to use them. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add a butterfly. Put that right there. So there's that card done. You can make these as simple or as elaborate as you wish. One. There's no place like home for now. This one, I'm just going to go ahead. Now this was just cut with my paper trimmer. No dies, no punches. And I'm actually just going to put this right on top. Not even using dimensionals. This one reads, those six apart, we're close at heart. And another butterfly. And these ones, I already went ahead and did those. Those were with that pretty metallic side of that ornate garden designer series paper. So you see how fast these come together. And then of course you can stamp whatever you want on the inside of your cards. some of the cards that I've made already uh, before this video. I'm just going to go quick. This one was made with the same ornate style and then the sentiment is from Seaside Notions. This is a cute one. It says, so I finished Netflix and on the inside it reads, hope you're staying entertained during this time of social distancing. So that's a cute one. Same thing here. Um, this one was using the positive thoughts, though we are not together, we are close at heart, positive thoughts again. So let me just do something here. Let me just kind of show you what's going on. So these are all three stamp sets. And what I did is I cut out all my strips of cardstock and then I stamped them all using one stamp set. So this was all using the ornate style, just different colors. And then this one was all with positive thoughts. Again, just using different colors, tone on tone, so so saffron ink on so saffron cardstock, petal pink on petal pink cardstock, and granny apple green. So it keeps it very, very quick and easy. So I just did them all in one swoop, all with the same stamp set. And you can tell that no matter what colors used, it looks really, really fantastic. And then these ones, I haven't put any sentiment on them yet. So that's what they looked like before I put the sentiments on. So that's those ones. These ones used the um, Make a Splash host set, which is retiring. So this one reads, there's nobody I'd rather stay home for. So it's just got, you know, some crab, the fish, a little bit more masculine too. That one's slammed in there. I miss your face, which is really cute because you got the little faces on the fishies. It's your birthday, one day at a time. And then this was left over from uh, the Seaside Notions that I had done earlier. And then what I do is once all my strips have been cut and stamped, I'm just putting them into um, little bags and then I've got them to quickly put a card together. So these are actually with the painted glass uh, stamp set that's retiring this month. So I love that stamp set. So they're all ready to go. Very, very uh, quick way to make cards if you're pressed on time for birthdays or anything at all. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making these cards. Um, I have been looking forward to sharing this with you just because there's so many different things you can do. Just love these. Just love these. Isn't it amazing how you get so many different looks all with the same layout? So there you are, lots of inspiration for you. Go and get this phenomenal COVID-19 give back PDF. 
uh, from Stampin' Up! Support our essential workers, the frontline workers, and uh, great cause. And you're just going to have a great time creating your cards and projects with this great printout. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. If you haven't already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Happy stamping.